the long division algorithm can be understandable, and I'm going to use the example of how to share $432 with three people to show this. So with $432, let's assume that we have four $100 bills, three $10 bills, and two $1 bills, and we need to split it with three people. Well, if we have four $100 bills, each person would get one $100 bill with one $100 bill left over, and that is exactly what's showing right here. Our next step is to bring down the three, but what does this mean? Well, we have a $100 bill that we can't really just rip up, but we can exchange it for 10 $10 bills. In total, we would have 13 $10 bills because we have this extra three tens right here. Now we have 13 $10 bills and we can split most of that up with the three people. Each person would get four $10 bills with one left over. Now the next step is to bring down the two, but once again, what does bring down the two mean? Well, if we just have one $10 bill, we can't really break it up unless we exchange it for 10 $1 bills. So this represents 12 $1 bills. And with 12 $1 bills, we can give each person four $1 bills. So I hope that this helped make sense of the long division algorithm. All we are doing is sharing equally and exchanging for smaller units if we cannot share.